good morning everyone a random uh, i a randomized hospital based study to compare uh, efficacy of uh, 2% devamipide and uh, 0.05% cyclosporine eye drops in dry disease uh, introduction a dry disease is, is an important public health prob problem and most common drug used for dry disease is carboxymethyl cellulose uh, which provides palliative relief in patients with aqueous tear deficiency but do not treat the underlying mucin deficiency inflammation or it does not reverse the uh, conjunctival squamous metaplasia in chronic dry disease am i uh, am i audible sir yes sir okay. yes and uh, cyclosporine is a topical immunomodulator drug uh, which uh, with uh, an anti-inflammatory activity and devamipide is an mucin stimulator drug which helps in which helps in uh, increase in mucin secretion it's a mucin uh, secretogogue drug both rebamipide and cyclosporine are known to increase goblet cell density and thus helps in improving tear film stability by augmenting mucin secretions and in addition to that both drugs improve patients uh, of dry disease through modulation of ocular surface inflammation as treatment of dry uh, dry disease is evolving daily in our study we wanted to compare two relatively newer drugs those are uh, which are having similar abilities to treat underlying cause of for the dry disease our aim was to compare uh, these two drugs and uh, uh, objective was to study these two drugs individually and to compare these two drugs total 80 patients were taken and those were divided randomly into two uh, two groups and for two groups group a group a was in group a patients were given 0.5% cmc Uh, plus uh, 0.05% cyclosporine for 12 week in group 2 patients were given 0.5% cmc and 2% devamipide for 12 weeks the effect was evaluated by means of change in shawmod 1 tbot osdi score and nei's corneal staining score at 4 8 and 12 weeks and all the patients uh, coming to opd department uh, outpatient department greater than 18 years of age were included and uh, the patient with blepharitis ocular allergies uh, con connective tissue disorders like lid disorders were excluded from our study and uh, what we have found is uh, uh, in group group a that uh, that was with uh, cyclosporine cyclosporine and the cmc uh, the mean tbot value the mean shoma value mean osdi and nei uh, staining score was increased after 12 week of treatment that and that was of statistical significance the similar studies showed uh, similar results and uh, in group group b also we found uh, that uh, mean tbot value and shoma one value osdi and uh, nei staining score was increased after 12 weeks of treatment and that was statistical significant kauri kauri ude oeda did a similar studies and they also found the similar results uh, we have also compared these two these two drugs these are results of these two individual drugs and uh, what we have found uh, we, we can show from the graphs also that uh, shama 1 was uh, improved more in group a and that was statistically significant that was in cyclosporine group and tbot and ost tbot and osdi was more improved in uh, rebamipide group and that was also statistically significant and the mean nei was uh, improved in uh, group two, but that was not statistically significant that concludes that uh, 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 the group a shows more improvement in sharma 1 and group b shows more improvement in tbot osdi and nei staining scores since this was a pioneer study that compared the role of topical cyclosporine and topical rebamipide drugs the results could not be compared and discussed with the literature most medicines available in the market targets only symptomatic relief but uh, rebamipide helps uh, in uh, treating the dry disease and uh, shows a uh, promising results uh, and what we have concluded is uh, both the drugs cyclosporine and rebamipide helps in improving subjective signs and uh, objective objective signs and subjective symptoms but the rebamipide scored over cyclosporine thank you sir thank you so much ananda sir you have a question yes uh, ronak yes sir um, you don't uh, the mode of action of cyclosporine and rebamipide are two different things the cyclosporine takes a little longer time three months at least and rebamipide the causes also goblet cell and all those things so all the dye diseases does not uh, so significant improvement into the to these drugs so how the sample size is randomly you have taken anybody Dry disease more than eighteen years you have taken. Is there any specific uh, you have taken? No, no, sir, 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 no, sir. The sample size was not that that much that specified. But uh, to to uh, to uh, justify this thing, we have added cyclo uh, CMC in both the groups to to give it aqueous deficient uh, immediate uh, treatment to so aqueous that, deficient. <clears throat> yeah, that was when, that was in both the groups, sir. CMC. Uh, so, so when the CMC was added in both the groups. 
the result will vary with that thing no yes sir but you should have given was... a single drug treatment you should have at least in a try in simple cases also yes sir so i uh, will ask the next question uh, sir marathe sir uh, i think no question but one comment i think next generation uses short forms so much at least in the first slide and when there is a subject correct, correct. you should not write dd okay so at least write dry eye diseases in at least in the first slide or wherever it is a printing format in the subject or heading dd that short form should be avoided and dry eye disease should be written that is my observation okay okay ronak please take this advice from senior sir very very seriously for so all times to come okay uh, thank you very much i would like to ask dr srini for a question uh yeah, yeah, yeah ronak uh, see uh, did, did you have uh, uh, divided groups like you have evaporative dry eye and uh, uh, aqueous deficiency dry eye uh, did you divide it into two groups and do the study and uh, uh, the second question see how these two chemicals are not really comparable right so cyclosporin and uh, tacrolimus yeah you can compare uh, uh, ramapad uh, is is not an immunomodulator so why do why did you actually think of uh, uh uh the study at all sir uh, at the, at the long term remamipide also uh, the study showed that remamipide uh, also uh, has uh, effect on inflammatory activity it lowers inflammation and ultimately uh, ultimately increases the goblet cell density and uh, on cyclosporine studies also showed that uh, this uh, ocular surface inflammation reduction which uh, leads to increase in goblet cell density so uh, i Uh, remember pada is 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 a namena set analog of uh, uh quinolone right yes sir so it, it is not actually a, a, a immunomodulator right yeah no 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 direct direction is not on it's not a direct immunomodulator okay. sir okay fine it's fine thanks sir